I am Diego Navarro. I am a multimedia engineer and I am from Colombia in South America. I am currently a PhD student at BTH in the area of computer science and my research field is psychophysiological feedback for video games and virtual reality. Artificial intelligence is fascinating not only because it adds a, a layer of versatility to most of the computer science related areas, but also is becoming more like a daily based thing for us. There are a lot of different algorithms that currently measure what we do and who we are and in terms of that try to adapt uh, to our current behaviors or our current activities, trying to enhance them. So I think there is a lot of potential to keep exploring this area in uh, order to look for a much beneficial future for everyone. Uh, no, we shouldn't be worried about AI and it's never going to be too late. Uh, it's very a common misconception because, because when we see what computers are capable of, then it triggers kind of like a, a warning sign because they are much more capable for human in many different areas. However, we're not creating real uh, intelligence here. What we're trying is to recreate human intelligence. What we should be concerned about is the humans behind the AI algorithms and why are they using them for? Uh, the next big thing in game development, uh, there's many different things happening in the, in the area right now. Of course, uh, graphics is always going to be a, a, a huge thing for game development. So you're always in the constant evolution of graphics and what you could do until what point you can push the technology and also develop new ways in how games can be visualized. But nowadays we have another two very interesting areas in gaming. One is of course artificial intelligence because since we're getting much more computing power nowadays into, into the devices, into the consoles that we have for gaming, then we can develop much stronger AI that reacts much better, that creates a much more realistic behavior and that overall enhances the experience. On the other hand, we have something that is called psychophysiological feedback and that is understanding the physiology of the people that is actually interacting with our games and try to relate that information from the body, from the physiology, in order to correlate a psychological state, meaning we're now being able to create emotionally aware technology, emotional aware interfaces and video games is not an exception for that. Well, there's many cool things about being a researcher. Uh, first of all, you have access to the, to the top-end technology and uh, also you get to share your ideas and get some feedback from very inspiring people in the area, not only in national level but also in international uh, academic events. Uh, there's also that um, you constantly get stimulated to ask new questions and your curiosity plays a major role in, in this business. I think that all of us decided to become like researchers because we really love to study. So we're kind of like the eternal students in that sense. And uh, that is much, some of the most rewarding experiences that I have had so far.